In this video, I'm going to go over how to rotate an array in C to the left. So here's an example of an array. We have 3, 9, 8, 1, 7, 6, with indexes from 0 up until 5. Now, if we wanted to rotate that array to the left once, we would say it looks like this, 9, 8, 1, 7, 6, where we've basically shifted up the elements of the array by one index. And then this element here in the first index that kind of has no place to go, it would go to the end of the array. And we would say at that point that we've rotated it to the left once. So let's actually make an example of this. We'll say here int a1, and we'll make some array here. We'll say one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just put six elements in an array. And then we'll make a function that's gonna do a rotation to the left once. So we'll say void rotate left once. It'll accept an array as an argument and the length of the array as an argument. And then we'll provide a definition of the function down here and we'll test it out with that array there. So what we're gonna do is we're basically just gonna shift the elements over to the left by one. But as you saw there, the tricky part is gonna be that first element. So that first element we're actually gonna store into a temporary variable here. We're gonna say int temp is equal to array zero. So just take the first element, the, the element at the first index in the array and store it in temp, because we're gonna save that and we're gonna store it in the last position of the array when we're all done here. But first what we're gonna do is we're gonna shift the elements over to the left by one. So we're gonna say here for int i is equal to zero, i is less than length minus one, i plus plus. And then we'll have array at i is equal to array at i plus one. So what this is gonna do is starting from zero and going up until the second last element, we're gonna make that element at that index equal to the element at the index one over to the right. And the effect of that is gonna shift things over to the left by one. Now we only go up to length minus one. So we're basically gonna leave off that last element of the array. And that's what we've got temp for. That's where we're gonna put that temp value is in that last element of the array. So we can say here, array, and then we'd say here, length minus one for that last element. And we'll say is equal to temp. So let's actually test this function out now. We'll say here, rotate left once, and we'll pass it a1 and six. And then we'll just print out a1. And maybe we'll do a printout before and after just so we can see it. So we'll say here for int i is equal to zero, i is less than six, i plus plus. And we'll just do a printf of the elements of a1 here. So we'll say printf, percent d space, and we'll say a1 at i. We'll just print out a new line there. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll print out the array elements after the rotation, just so that way we can see the effect of the rotation. So print out the array before the rotation, do the rotation to the left once, print out the elements afterwards, just so that way we can see the effect of this. So let's just do a compilation here and then run it. And we get one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we get two, three, four, five, six, one. So we have rotated to the left once. Now we could also make a function that would do some arbitrary number of rotations. So the other function would rotate to the left some number of times that we could actually give it as an argument. And we could actually just call the rotate left once function repeatedly, repeatedly to actually do that rotation. So I'm gonna say here void rotate left int array int length for the array and then int n. And n is gonna be the number of rotations. So the number of rotations that we're gonna do. And we'll actually define this function down here. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna call rotate left once n times to rotate this array some number of times. So I could say here for int i is equal to zero, i is less than n, i plus plus, call rotate left once with the array and the length as arguments. And all that's gonna happen is we're just gonna rotate the array now to the left n number of times. So if we give this function a test now, instead of saying rotate left once, I'm gonna say rotate left a16, and I'll say two now. So let's rotate it two times to the left, two, index, two indexes to the left. So I do recompilation, I run it, and now it's been shifted over to the left twice. If I do maybe six here, 
watch what's going to happen. Do a recompilation. We run it. We get back the same array because we, you know, we rotate it to the, to the left six times and the array only has six elements in it. And therefore we get this kind of look to it as well, where it just sort of goes back to what it was before. And this is rotating an array to the left in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.